Hello and welcome to Blender Bite Size. In this video, I'll be showing you how to make this material procedurally in Blender. Feeling lazy? You can support this channel and skip the hard work by grabbing the blend file for this material from Gumroad for just a pound. Feeling flush? Feel free to throw some of that coin my way using the coffee link in the description below the video. Okay, let's make a start. So I have my object loaded. I'm in the shading tab. I'm going to enable viewport shading and I have a printable shader already applied to the object. First thing that I'm going to do is press shift A and search for a noise texture. And I'm going to plug that into the transmission. Next up, I'm going to press Ctrl T because I have the Node Wrangler add-on enabled. If you don't, you can search and apply these as you would any other node. And I'm going to duplicate that noise texture and put it between the texture coordinate and the mapping node. And you can already see some things starting to happen. We've got a fair bit to get through though, so let's keep on going. Uh, what I'm going to do actually on the principal shader is drop everything down to zero, but on the emission, I'm going to jack that up to 500. Now, we need to do some things down this end. So I need to bring down the texture coordinate and I'm going to change actually I'm not going to change normally I change the texture coordinate to object I'm going to leave it as generated for this particular noise texture what I'm going to do though is add a mix RGB node in between the noise texture and the mapping and I'm going to plug the generated into the color 2 slot and leave it set as mix. I'm going to add a layer weight node up the top here. And to control that, I'm going to use a color ramp. The normal for this, I am going to take from the object. And I'm going to change the interpolation mode to beast line. The white I'm going to shove over to 0.3. On the scale, on the noise texture, I'm going to put it to 10, detail to 15, roughness to 0.9, and distortion to 0.1. Okay, now over this side, I need to add some math nodes, so let's give ourselves some space. I'm just going to plonk that in here and change the rounding to ping pong. I'll take the factor from the noise texture and plug that into the top value. Going to duplicate that and bring it down. Again, the factor into the top value. And change the scale to 0.25. Now, to bring those two things together, I'm going to use another math node. And this time, change the comparison to smooth minimum. Plug the values in. And then the distance we're going to take from the facing on the layer weight. Now I need a color ramp in here. Then I need a noise texture. Uh, 
and I'm going to take the color from the color ramp and plug that into the detail. The vector I'm going to bring over from the mapping node. And this I'm going to plug into the normal. Now to convert that data, I need a bump node. So we'll pop that in there and then make sure that's in the height slot. Put the strength at 0.25 and we'll leave the distance as one, but we will select invert. Now for the color ramp, we're going to take this into the emission and also into the transmission. Uh, and we need an invert node to flip that data. Okay, now a couple of other adjustments to make. On this noise texture, let's change that to 7.2, roughness to 1, distortion to 5.5. For this color ramp, we're changing the interpolation to ease. We're bringing this white value down to here, about 0.36, and we're going to change that color, let's say, to a hot pink. of a mess right now with all these bits going on so let's just try and move a few things around okay let's take a look so we need to take the facing value from the layer weight into the factor of the mix rgb Okay, now I've plugged this into the wrong thing, so the invert needs to go into the transmission. And color ramp needs to go into the emission color. There we go. Index of refraction we're changing to 1.2. And then we need to change the base color on the principal shader. It needs to be something a little bit darker than what we already have. So let's go for a darkish blue. Okay, let's go back and double check through all of these things. So we've got factor of 0.5, scale 10, 15.9.1. We're mixing that with the facing value.
So on the noise texture next to the mapping node, we've got a scale of 2, detail of 14, roughness of 0.85 and a distortion of 0.5. So that kind of uh, makes that a bit more detailed, less like a zebra. To bring that um, pink glow in a bit, we change the top ping pong value. Shall we say 0.4? 0.3? Oh, that's a bit too far. 0.4. Yeah, let's say 0.4. And to get a bit more magic power, we can crunch the black in from the left and the pink in from the right. There we go. And this scale texture um, changes the outer texture. Sorry, this noise texture changes the outer texture, the rippling effect. So let's say five for that. Maybe if, let's keep it at 5.5 .5 for the distortion. Distance we could probably drop down and not worry about. Yeah, that one. And I think we're just about done. So I'll stop fiddling now and we'll send this to render. I've got a thousand uh, samples with quite low light path bounces and let's see how we get on and there we have our magic orb obviously you can play around with the settings see what changes you can make to find something you'd like but if you've enjoyed this video please remember to give it a thumbs up a like and of course, subscribe for future content. In the meantime, thanks for watching.